I just bought this entire grocery store, which includes enough food to literally feed an entire city. And then I decided to trap this random guy inside. And every day you live here, I will give you $10,000 in a grocery cart. That's wild, dude. Let's yes. go. Well, I'll give it to you in 24 hours. Oh, okay. This challenge could literally make Alex a multi-millionaire, which in theory means he could be in here for years. And it starts right now. All right, Jimmy's gone. <laughs> Why would I ever leave? I could be here for years. Time to go grocery shopping, baby. Now, if Alex crosses this red line that we painted around the entire perimeter of the grocery store, the challenge is over and he walks away with his current winnings. And to make sure he stays inside, it's worth noting here that we have countless cameras covering every square inch of the grocery store. For my first meal on night one, I guess I'll cook the steak. I think this is just going to be home base, this little corner of the grocery store. If I have meals like this every night, I'll easily be here for years. Day one complete. See you in the morning. It has officially been 24 hours and I got the first 10 grand. Alex! Hey! Can you feel this and confirm it's $10,000? Um, it is. It I is. believe you. Now we introduce the twist of the challenge. Basically, to receive the daily $10,000, you need to give me $10,000 in product from the store. And so you have to strategize what order to get rid of these items to stay here as long as possible. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Conveniently, there's a lot of electronics over there that are pretty expensive for day one. That's probably a good idea. I can't really eat a TV, so it's no use to me. You're 22 cents over. All right, let me check out. Do you have an MVP card? No. Would you like one? No. Do you want to sign up no. for <laughs> Here's your cash. Chris, take it away. Beep, beep. I will see you tomorrow with another $10,000 in cash. You should start strategizing what you're gonna sell me. This changes everything. I gotta start strategizing for the future. I have to figure out all the stuff that I need to get rid of. Pet food, pet items. Jimmy could not pay me to eat this stuff, I swear. I got $10,000 worth of dog food right here. I think I'm just gonna get some rest, wake up early, cause I'm gonna have to prep more items tomorrow. I got a lot of work ahead of me. Alex! What's up, Jimmy? Oh, hey! Is that what you're selling to me today? Today, it's dog food. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take us forever to move. Wait, can we do like a... I'll let him clap transition, go for it. There we go. It's all over here at the register. Isn't that a cool effect? I love beast magic. We're at $9,991.80. And for the final item, we are now at $10,000. And $45. And something you should know. Every single item Alex sells to me, we are literally going to donate to charity. So don't worry, none of this is going to go to waste. The next few days were kind of a breeze for Alex. On day five, he sold me $10,000 worth of produce. All this produce here, they're going to go bad very fast. On day six, he sold me a bunch of diapers. And on day seven, eight, and nine, he cleared out an additional $30,000 worth of products. He even discovered the back room of the store. And since he hasn't showered in 10 days, he built his very own makeshift shower. Um, Ba -bum. And laundry systems. Rub a dub dub. Hey, how's it going? What's up, Jimmy? All right, as of now, give me an honest answer. How far do you think you're gonna go? Oh, I mean, I feel like 100 days for sure. Oh boy. Depending on how long Alex lasts, this may just become my most expensive video ever. But I'm prepared for that. <laughs> Money, money, money Holy all the time. crap, dude. I don't care if you go a year. I got the money. Who put all this in here is what I want to know. The bank. You will get this once I get my $10,000 in items. All right, today I have more TVs. Who goes to a grocery store to buy a TV? Why are these here? Now, Alex, be honest with me. Did you empty out any of these TV boxes, fill them with rocks, and keep the TV? Uh, dogs. All right, I trust him, even though that was not what I was asking. Approaching day 11, Alex began to get pretty efficient at picking which items to sell. $10,001.89. And since I had to leave to go film a video where I stranded myself on an island, this is not comfortable, but let's pray we get like 30 minutes of sleep tonight. We had someone else drop off the money for Alex. We call him the money man. Oh, it's the money man. Thank you, sir. $100,000. I could definitely reach a million. And what he did with the rest of his time to keep himself entertained was interesting. I am building a cheese ball wall. It's done. The great wall of cheese balls. Oh, yeah, baby. Here we go. Three, two, one. It was worth it. It was so worth it. On day 13, Alex decided to upgrade his shower because it's a piece of crap. What I'm gonna do is use four of these shelves to reinforce the shower. 
Okay, here we go. Ah! I'm gonna use plastic liner, drape it across here. The walls are waterproof now. All right, you gotta give it to him. This man is literally constructing a functioning shower out of just raw store parts. Damn, there it is. Shower's done. Time to test it. Okay, it's been a few days in here. I'm gonna build a wall. Now, I never thought I'd see this, but Alex literally used all the water bottles in the entire store to build walls for his makeshift shelter. He even created a bed using all of the toilet paper, and it looked kind of comfortable. This is pretty cozy. I could fall asleep right here. I gotta get the scan in. Kinda had my eyes on these bad boys for a while gift cards. These things are freaking expensive. It is actually surprising how expensive birthday cards are because Alex was able to hit his $10,000 mark only using the cards. And after I got back from filming at the island, oh, hey, 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 it's been a while. Alex went to see if we could help him use the forklift in the back of the store. You know, if you could get it in the store, that'd be super helpful. You're sure you're going to let Chris drive this? Yeah. Three, two. All right. Not the bakery! <laughs> Enjoy your forklift, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Even though it's only been a day since he last saw me, it seemed like Alex really started to miss me. At least, that's the only explanation I have for what he's about to do. I saw this cut out of Jimmy over here. We're gonna be hanging out a lot, you and I. He's just gonna watch, make sure I don't lose count. Just scanning away for another 10K. $10,000.33. Over the next few days, Alex's efficiency was through the roof thanks to his new forklift. So he even had enough time to upgrade his bed. And it was quite the improvement. This is so much better. And even though Alex's original goal was to get a million dollars, I think we're going for a mil on this one. I hope not. He started documenting what he'd spend the money on and came to realize maybe he didn't need to stay as long as he thought. A million dollars is nice in theory. I'm still missing out time with my boys. Both their birthdays are coming up in the next two months. I've never missed a birthday yet. So after thinking about what I want to put the money toward, I realized that I need to at least make $500,000. But right now, I only have 200. So in total, I got 50 days I gotta be in here, almost halfway there. On day 22, Alex decided to absolutely decimate all the goldfish in the grocery store. Oh my God! Okay, so this is $10,000 worth of goldfish. I could feed an army of toddlers. All right, thank you, sir. You're living a regular life now, almost. You're getting paid 10 grand a day to miss your family. Yeah. yeah. And you could just do this however long you want. Yeah. And you could just do this As you can see, the days started blending together for Alex. But eventually the day came where he decided to sell the water that he originally used for his shelter. But since he couldn't sell the empty shelves in the store, he realized they make pretty good walls. I'm gonna reinforce the house with metal shelves. This is the way. As you can see, Alex is feeling pretty at home now. But what he doesn't know is when I bought this grocery store, I stopped paying the electricity bill. So at any point now, all the power's gonna cut off and his freezers won't work, the lights won't work, and so much more. The challenge is gonna get way harder. But to give him some motivation before things get pretty crazy. We thought Alex deserved a reward. Are you excited to see your dad? Yeah. You ready to do this? Yeah. I think he might literally cry. This is gonna be crazy. Oh my God. Okay, okay Alex, we have a surprise for you. Hello. We brought oh, some special baby. guests. Hi, buddy. Yesterday, you were telling me about how much you miss your family, and I felt kind of bad. So to celebrate 30 days, we're going to let you spend the day with them. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? Daddy, uh, I need to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening with all the boxes on the floor? <laughs> I made a race car track. Oh, is that the car? <laughs> yeah. Wait, can he ride that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, dude? <laughs> Today I got to see Sarah and the boys. It was freaking amazing. And Sarah was as beautiful as ever. 
I love you. Bye, buddy. I love you. Heart break. When I saw my kids, I mean, they like look different to me. You know, at that age, they grow weekly. I just look forward to going back home, spending time with my family. What's up? I better get up and start scanning stuff now. We're gonna... What the heck? Why are the lights off? What are these shenanigans? Where's my flashlight? Is this some kind of joke? Houston, we have a problem. Did you do this, sir? <laughs> knock, knock. Oh, oh, wow. This is so much creepier. My power's out, Jimmy. Yes. So when I bought this grocery store, they gave me a form to put like the utilities in my name, and I just never filled it out. <laughs> The cameras and cash registers are hooked up to a generator because we need those. So what am I looking at over here? Okay, so I had originally $60,000 ready to go. Oh my gosh. But I assume now that the power went out, you're gonna sell the frozen stuff. <laughs> yeah, things have changed. We need to get the scanner. Let's get rid of these hot meats. Assembly line. All right, I'll hold the cart. Assembly line. I'm the door holder. And while they're clearing out the freezers, I want to tell you guys about Shopify. Shopify helped pay for this grocery store and in exchange wanted me to promote one of the millions of businesses they support in power. If only we had a bag that we could put these things in to keep it cold. And together we picked Kanga coolers. Chandler, what if I told you there's a 12-pack of soda inside of it? Whoa. And it can keep us inside cold up to seven hours. That's, That's a long forever. time. You got multi wieners, you got single wieners. Cheesy. Cheesy wieners. Kanga coolers are lightweight and insulated, so you can take them wherever. Hey, meet us at the front. Chandler, have you ever been a cashier Go. before? Go. Wait, you double scan Go. that. Hold up, you can have the Kanga cooler. You can fit a human head in here. Anyways, click the link in the description down the shop app right now. You can buy a Kanga cooler, and I'm gonna go help them scan some meat. All right, here's our meat receipt. <laughs> Here's your 10 grand. Also, here's a Kanga cooler. Oh, nice. Oh, by the way, Alex, I'm going to Africa for a week. At this point, I once again had to leave to go film a video in Africa where I built 100 wells. Well, number one is this attack. Alex spent the rest of his day rushing to get all the frozen food sold so it could be donated. Because I'll just be scanning stuff in the dark from now on. We really hope Jimmy turns the power on. It's gonna suck. I'm not gonna lie, being left without power affected Alex way more than I thought it would. I guess the food wasn't the only thing getting checked out. <gasps> what if you can tip over a forklift? Oh! Careful on aisle seven. Ah! Ooh. Store is turning into a wasteland. So I'm going to the back. I'm gonna open up this dock door and let some daylight hit my face. Breathe in some fresh air, cause this is not gonna do it. Oh, it's so nice. This right here will get me through the dark days. It is day 36. I got 360 thousand dollars why stop now gotta keep loading these carts up got a lot of food to get through just carts and pools of money and waiting waiting for the days to go by the most exciting part of my day is being this close to the red line i'm just a sad old miserable boy back here nothing's ever been sadder in my life except Living in a grocery store, coffee, food, and a lot of money. I'm like way ahead on checkout still. I don't want to do anything. There's nothing to do. All that stands between me, my wife, my kids, is this line right here. Lights being off, being this close to the red line, realizing I can go see my family. It's super tempting every day now. Mm. There's a bunch of pallets back there still that I haven't even dug into. Some glasses, ice packs. Oh, what the? <laughs> Look what I just found. Insta Start Quick Pack Lantern. Nice. I got five of them. I just lit them all up. They're on full blast right now. It definitely lights up the entire space really well. I feel like I can actually like hang out in here again. Oh, Alex, are you here? Yo! Another 10K? Yeah. Let's go, dude. It's crazy I have all this money, but there's nothing I can do with this money while I'm in here, except just look at it. Well, you can't look at it because it's so dark in here. <laughs> so I'm going to bring some lights in. Are you serious? For filming purposes. All right. What are you going to do for the rest of the time you're in here? Something I definitely want to do is go ahead and just run through all these shells with the forklift. Oh. 
<laughs> you asked for this. What is going on? All right, time for me to not be here anymore. We'll see you tomorrow. Here's your broom. Thanks, guys. Enjoy cleaning. After spending an entire day cleaning up Chris's mess, Alex took advantage of the newly opened space to set up a pool he found in the back. Off we go. I'm gonna drag the hose out here, stick it in this pool, and sometime tomorrow, we'll have a grocery swimming pool. It's been over a week and Chandler won't tell me what happened while I was gone. This place looks completely different. Oh God, open the doors, I gotta see this. Whoa, where did everything go? We uh, did a little remodeling while you were gone. This looks like someone gave Chris a forklift. Everything makes sense now. Can you show me the pool? Yeah, you wanna get in? Did you wear socks? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Get what do you typically do in the pool? I just kind of float around. This was fun and all, but I think we should check out. Thanks for the groceries. <laughs> Enjoy your pool. All right, I'm just gonna grab everything from the back and just put it up here, organize it, and who knows, maybe there's something fun in there. It's no secret at this point, Alex was pretty tired. And while he was making his rounds in the forklift, something unexpected happened. Oh, crap! I was trying to turn one way and it just went the opposite direction. Oh my God. My freaking money is soaked. There's a bunch of product ruined. It's like so deep right here. It's in my space. It's all over the grocery store. Dude, I'm done, man. I just want to leave. We're going in. <laughs> Alex! Buddy, why is it so wet in here? Yeah, ill. Yo. Oh, Alex. Your golden chariot awaits you. <laughs> oh, look at you in bed. You good, dog? I'm all right, man. You look like a, a defeated man. Yeah, I busted the pool. I just wanted to bust a pool. So I was driving by to drop off some pallets, and I tried to turn, and it just turned the complete opposite way. I was like, no! So all this got wet. How many more weeks do you have left? Weeks? <laughs> I'm just kind of taking it day by day right now. It depends how much longer I can go. So if you just see like a spider in your bed tomorrow, you're, you're leaving? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I don't think he has many days left. This is ending soon. You guys want to come hang out for a little bit? Heck no. You're depressing. This is what the store looked like when Alex started the challenge. And this is what it looks like now. So day 44. It's almost dark outside. Jimmy hasn't come by today. I have stuff I need to sell. I'm just gonna move this stuff to the back. Hopefully somebody brings me the $10,000 today. Maybe they just forgot or something. It's really lonely in here. I'm just gonna, I guess, sit in my chair till they bring me some money. You what? Are you serious? Are you there, Jimmy? This is the first interaction I get all day and it's the freaking robot. Thanks for the money. Not even Jimmy wants to come here for a minute. That's how depressing this place is now. Can't say I blame him, honestly. This sucks, man. freaking miss my family so bad. It's day 45 and Chandler, how would you say he's doing? That is complete boredom. He's just tapping the bat on the ground. I would feel bad for him, except he's won $450,000. And he can leave whenever he wants. So he'll be fine. <laughs> Alex. Hey, we were watching you on the cameras. You looked very sad. Yeah, I'm pretty bored. Well, here's $10,000. So are you less bored? Helps a little. 
How many weeks left you got? Well, I don't even know if I got an hour left, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, really? Here, let's go look at your sea of money over here. This is all the money you've made so far. 450 grand. Are you saying you're content with it? <sighs> Give me one second. I've got a surprise that might help you decide. What? Are you serious? <laughs> hey, babe. What the heck? Don't cry. I can't help it. <laughs> Okay. Why wear your shoes? <laughs> your shirt. To be clear, I didn't take his shoes. I don't know why he's not wearing shoes. These are all the things that this money's gonna go toward. Isn't this crazy? I can't even wrap my head around it. I feel like I could do another five days. Do you think it's worth it? What's the verdict? We've weighed the options. Make tons of money. Keep tons of money you already made. Honestly, it's not worth staying in any yeah. longer. Okay, well then let's push the money out. Alex, the second you step on the red, it's over. I can move all the money back and we can keep going. It's your decision. All right, bring it back in. Okay, bring it back in. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah! Oh! Yes! Alex spent 45 days in the store and walked away with $450,000. Can't believe this happened. This is freaking sick. Congratulations, Alex. Shout out to Albertson for helping us fill the shelves. You guys are amazing. I'm gonna go find a shirt. Also, if you're wondering how we filmed this video because we blew up the Earth earlier, it was actually on the moon the entire time. Watch the Laser Maze video if that's confusing.